Hello everyone, I'm a Silent Death, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Day 165. Today, we are going to be doing a number of things. First off, on Day 166, we have a horde coming. You may have noticed that there hasn't been a horde in a number of episodes, even though a lot of time has passed in-game. That is because I've been uh, saving a horde until we got the last little bit of our defenses finished. And it's going to be the strongest horde yet. It will have the same number of zombies as a normal super horde, except that the waves are going to be twice as strong. Instead of having 25 zombies at a time, we're going to have 50 zombies at a time, which should be a little bit interesting. We're also going to be popping over to creative mode and looking at a few things, a few ideas that I've had that I haven't really found a place for in my building plans. Up here, what we're going to do is we have a row of barbed wire. We're going to go with three rows of spikes and then a row of mines, we'll put it, which will put it right along this path. Leave us a little bit of space here to walk if we actually need to. We shouldn't, but that is what we're going to do. And the reason we're doing all this stuff this episode is because, unfortunately, this is going to be the last episode of this season. There are a number of reasons for that. One, I've basically built everything that I wanted to build this season. I think our house, wall, and everything turned out quite well. But it pretty much completes the plans. And uh, quite frankly, it's a bit boring now. The game uh, lacks any real degree of progression past the first little bit. If you uh, take a step back and look at the game as a whole, the first few levels are quite fun and challenging. The zombies are, as I said, are challenging to take out with like a wooden club or a crappy bow. You level up rather quickly, getting new items, more health, all that kind of stuff. But then, you get things like firearms, and you know, sniper rifles, explosives, some iron armor, around, I don't know, by the time you have the first support, you pretty much have a large degree of weapons where anything during the daylight is not much of a challenge. You're still fighting the same exact zombies. You were beating to death with a wooden club, except for now you have a semi-machine gun and a, you know, sniper rifle and everything. So in my mind, the game just lacks... Uh, weird thing there. As I was saying, in my mind the game lacks a degree of progression. There needs to be something like better zombies, or more aggressive zombies, super zombies, I don't know. Because right now the only type of progression you have is the hordes, and that peaks at a day 49, which really isn't that long. 
all things considered. I don't know what you're supposed to do about our past day 140 or past day 49. I guess it's sit around and twiddle your thumbs. But yeah, they need to do something about that, I think. I really enjoy the first part, so I have some hope. The first few levels are I found quite entertaining and it's a fact why I ended up doing this whole season is because those first few levels were so fun that I decided to record it for y'all. But these last few levels, uh, not so much. Now let's pop on over to creative mode. The first thing we're going to look at is this. You've seen that the drawbridge that we built around our moat and going up to our house. But that one was rather long. If you haven't seen it, it's this here, which is a bridge that, if we remove these three blocks, will collapse if anyone walks on it. I think that one might have some stuff going on underneath it. But as you can see, it's rather long and a little bit expensive. So here we have a somewhat shorter version of a collapsible bridge, but it's less easy to trigger and a little bit more expensive. Three wide. And if either one of these are triggered, at least it's supposed to be either one of these, I may have messed that up a little bit. I did apparently damage myself. Let's try this again. Here we go again. Let's shoot it a few times. And there you can see it collapsing properly. Okay, so how this works. We have these, which are what is holding it up. And then the concrete. And that's not supposed to happen. Did I miss a block somewhere? Is it because that is damaged? Maybe. There we go. The concrete is actually the failure point. With a max load of 90. These weigh 20. And then the concrete itself weighs 15. So the concrete actually puts it at the max load. But it's distributed between two of them with these holding it up and that way if one of them breaks or is a detonated the other one doesn't have enough grip to or the concrete on the other side doesn't have enough structural integrity to hold on to it and the whole thing will fall and that's one way you can get a reasonably short drawbridge that's not too difficult to walk across you do have to kind of walk Caddy cornered. I had another idea, but it's not in one piece right now. A different type of bridge. 
kind of the same principle as that. Instead of destroying supports, what we do is build a bridge that has about three units of weight more structural integrity than it needs. And then it'll fall due to the weight of gore blocks if enough guides die on it. And basically, that's a composite of uh, using these and using things like wooden spikes to help with the actual killing part. So those go along like this. They're kind of hard to place because you have to build underneath them. And then you have to go back and destroy them. Which is part of the reason why I did not go with this particular design. And then by balancing the right amount of weight on this, each of these are five. And this can port 36, so a multiple of 6. So basically each one of these are 1.5 gore blocks, or half a gore block for each one, a total of 1.5. And, and then we just max out the structural integrity of everything else. So 6 blocks in each direction. And that way, theoretically, it'll collapse on demand, there is some issues with things that are close to collapsing and not collapsing when they're supposed to. But it works moderately well. It's just not anything for a primary defense. If I was building out my defenses a little bit further, I may have used it, but I decided not to. Another thing I tried out is over here. I had an idea for a way to mine faster. This is based on the fact that let's see, iron. that ores I like iron ore here. When they collapse. They turn into items. Always turn into items, I think. So, what I wanted to do was I dug all the way down to bedrock and planted a TNT all along the sides of this and completely hollowed out the area underneath this little section. The idea being we would destroy the side walls and the middle would drop, causing all of the ore to turn into items. And hopefully, like Minecraft, it would kind of squeeze the ore out to the edges in the top. And we could mine out large portions of terrain that way. Unfortunately, what happens instead is the game freezes for several minutes after you detonate it, and it sort of unravels like thread unraveling the bottom of this falls one block at a time instead of the whole thing falling down. So you just have a rain of single bits of stone and that causes a huge amount of lag. And up to a point after, I don't know, maybe a couple dozen to three dozen blocks, it just flat out stops and it's just hovering there. 
So that didn't work at all, and it was really expensive and time-consuming. Which is why we did not use it. Now, I think we're going to pop back over to the survival mode and arm for the upcoming horde. I've finished those defenses. So let's go raid the armory. Let's see what we can produce. We probably need some wood. Dirt wood. Okay. We have plenty of these, it looks like. How are we on brass casings? Uh, not as many. But we can get some more. So that there's some more in there, too. I gotta remember to press the right key here. We'll let this cook for a little bit. A couple of seconds. It says 20. Well, we can come back to that. Let's see. What do we have in here? Some steel crossbow bolts. Steel arrows. Do we have any more explosives left? Have some. There that goes. Okay, so we can make some exploding crossbow bolts with some sticks and feathers. A little bit expensive. I don't think we've used any of those yet. Feathers, sticks. Might need some wool too. More feathers. Another stick. Alright, that should do. Oh, we need iron heads, not iron arrows. Or iron crossbow bolts. We can do that. Probably. So you can go there. We'll probably use you at some point. But not right now. Should have some metal around here somewhere. Um, let's go with these. Burn time. You don't burn, you do burn, so we'll burn you. Not that we actually need to, but we want to. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We want this one. don't need too many of them. This should be enough. What else do we have? We have those. We have uh, some buckshot if we need it. Paper. How are we on shells? I think we have enough shells. Let's go with slugs. So what does it require to make that? It requires us to press the right button. Slug. The shotgun slug. Have not made any of those either. A little bit expensive. A uh, hundred. Yeah, okay, we'll make that. That nah, should be enough to help us out. Now, then, how are we for the other types of ammo? 9mm bullets. I don't think we're going to need. 10mm bullets. Um, we'll make a few more of those. Shells. Top that off. 
Alright, it doesn't look like we have any more magnum ammo. So let's make a bit of that. Let's see. We'll make, say, 250 magnum ammo. Or not. Oh, we're out of gunpowder. Okay. Not have a shortage of that. That's probably going to be enough. How many of these do we have? Not enough. We'll make some of those. We're out of brass now. What else do we have? Some 10 millimeter bullets. Sure, we'll make a few more of those. Then, let's get some... I guess we need cloth. I'm not sure if I have any of that anywhere nearby. Sandstone. Go ahead and grab that. It's not looking like it. And I don't want to... Go make some. Do we even need any? Might need a little bit. And I've already... Gotten the best parts. Oh, we already have plenty of these. And changed my rifle, so there's now a purple rifle. Did that a couple episodes ago and forgot to mention it. Let's repair you. I think we're good on the iron. That's probably enough of those. 125... Use up all of our sticks. We can make a little bit more. Only three more though, so that's not really a big deal. But 140 of those, that's pretty good. We'll put these in here. I guess I already had some. Have some more feathers, so make even more. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Exploding. Oh, we don't have enough of that. Um, I'm not going to make any more of those. We'll put all the other stuff back up. We'll grab these. And offload these. We want you to load the exploding crossbow bolts. We want you to load the shotgun slugs. I want you to go back up there. And the rest of this is just going to be waiting and organizing. I think we've got enough food. We have some band-aids. I'll eat right before the time comes. I think we need to make a few more sniper rifle bullets, though. Just a couple more. We do kind of run low on those. Hopefully that'll be enough. We do have a little bit more brass back that way. But I think this is it. We might have some more in the kitchen area. Nothing over there. I could disassemble the other 9mm bullets. Here's some more brass. Put oil too. Some more feathers if I need them. I 
I don't think that we're going to have any more. That should be enough to get us through. Sounds like there is a spider zombie. I don't think he's going to make it. We can make sure, though. Sounds like he's coming from over here. I think that was him dying. Yep. He did not make it very far. Alright. I will be back when the horde shows up. Okay, here goes. So let's retract our drawbridge. Apparently there's quite a few of them. And using the bridge has allowed them to get past the very first little bit. Okay, that is that bar. Let's go up. There should be more of them, I think. Might just be out farther. Looks like the drawbridge worked though. I don't recall if that was actually on camera. I didn't notice it. It might have happened while we were inside. Looks like they're at least having a little bit of difficulty getting to us. Let's take out some of these annoying little bastards. I assume we can learn to shoot straight. Which is not particularly likely. Trying to throw up on me. Two out of practice, I think. You would think I'd be able to hit at least one of them. There we go. That's an easy shot. At least our defenses are holding up. It also seems to keep them from vomiting. Somebody's made it. Alright, let's go down... This way. Can we get a shot on them from here? Nope, we have to go all the way down. That worked. We haven't tried the explosive stuff yet. Haven't even tried the flaming arrows. Not even sure where that went. And those dropped pretty quickly. Let's see if we can at least hit that guy. Okay, we got him. That was a little bit too close. He's still on fire. Mm. 
I don't know if a buckshot would help with that. We still haven't tried these. Really? I didn't actually kill him? Killed him, though. Haha, <laughs> I gotcha. Missed him somehow. Okay, that doesn't work quite as well as I was expecting. Oh, it's getting more of the fatty bastards. Okay, can we kill anyone else? That'll slow him down. Got another one. Eventually, they'll start blocking themselves. We think. We hope. That's the plan, anyway. It'll make them stay on the spikes longer. So many. No, 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 no. Just a whole bunch of no's. Okay, you crawly bastards. Y'all can die too. Kill you, kill you. You're not going anywhere. I wasn't sure if I got that person. I don't want to use the explosive arrows on my better defenses. We can do this. Because that's so much fun. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoop missed. Or it didn't actually explode. That one didn't explode either. Oh. No. Take that. Flaming zombie. Flame on. Gotcha. I guess I missed that one. Looks like I missed that one too. Did not miss him. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, spider zombie. He could be a problem. These actually work fairly well, except for they mess up the terrain. Though they're no better than sniper rifles. So many of these. Getting a little bit closer. He's gonna explode. I think. 
think he broke something. At least from the sound of things. Looks like the bot wire is actually helping quite a lot. A whole lot. They don't seem to be getting past it anyway. So far, so good. Where is... I hear a bee, I don't see him. Well, here are several, but here a close one. Okay, they haven't made it past recently. Surprised we haven't gotten a feral zombie yet. They can spawn. That one might be too far. Probably. There should be more. Way more. Okay, who else is coming? Some more crawly ones? That's probably what's holding things down. Have they actually gotten through? Let's go downstairs and see. I think they might be in the pit. Which we don't have an angle from here. If they are, they probably died. Yeah, I bet that's what happened. They fell down and died while they were trying to break things. Most probable explanation. So yeah, our bridge is working really well. For trapping them. How many more do we have to kill? Bye, bee. Two more bees. I'm not sure this one is in range. I guess so. Oops. Oh, no, you don't. Sneaky bastard. Tried to sneak up behind me. Yeah, you're not going to make it, little dog. Let's see if we can't get a couple more of the fat guys to explode. And take out some of their own guys. Yeah, I think there's just a minimum limit of bees. Because they don't seem to be making it across. Wow, it's already morning. Here you go. Y'all just blow up over there. Is any more coming? 
There you go. Got that guy. We're on top of some other things. There's a whole lot of them, though. Though our defenses are holding. Quite well, in fact. Better than I was even expecting. Barely even needed the mines. They only allowed us to get where we needed to be. Delayed them long enough that we could get here and start shooting them. Be still. There you go. Are there any more guys spawning? There's the one I was hearing. Up oh, there's one crawly bastard and another crawly bastard. Any more crawly bastards? I think this might be it. Just a little bit of skeet shooting. Which we're obviously not very good at. So that is going to be it for this season of Seven Days to Die. There probably will not be a season for Alpha 13. There's not any gameplay or any significant gameplay changes that I find particularly interesting. At least based on what information they've released so far. Nothing really cool. So it'll probably be 14, Alpha 14, before we do another one. Maybe even later than that. Depending on what they put in Alpha 14. But, as always, a like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment. If you have anything to say. I do read all comments. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.